body's central nervous system is responsible for sending, receiving, and interpreting information from all parts of it. But for someone living with multiple sclerosis or MS, this disease disrupts communication between the brain and other parts of the body. To get a better understanding of this disease, we spoke with the country's leading neurologist, Dr. Azad Isak. Dr. Isak, who has more than 15 years' experience assisting patients with multiple sclerosis, says while the disease was more prevalent in countries furthest away from the equator, the ratio shows that there are over 150 persons living with the disease in Trinidad and Tobago. 99% of them live in Trinidad. He said that this complex disease has many types. There are, there are four or five different types of MS, and the commonest is what we call relapsing, remitting MS. And that may then go on to develop secondary progressive MS. And then there are patients who deteriorate from the word go and go all the way down, and we call those primary progressive MS. And sometimes they, on the way down, can sometimes show relapses, and we call that progressing, relapsing MS. With these symptoms, one of the commonest symptoms of MS is acute loss of vision in one eye. Okay. So, um, the, 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 vision, the visual loss may be uh, painful or painless. That's one common. Patients may also develop difficulties with walking, may have imbalance, may have numbness or tingling in the arms or legs. Yeah. And one very common symptom of MS is fatigue. The neurologist explained how one can get the disease. The theory is that you, you are genetically predisposed and something about the environment, yeah, then there's a trigger. Okay. Maybe it's a virus, yes, that triggers this, 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 your, your brain and your spinal cord to react to cause this disturbance in the brain cells and in the spinal cord cells. While there is no known cure for MS, Dr. Isak said some treatments can slow down progression of the disease. He shared with us how a patient is examined. It's a neurological examination where we examine your, 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 your eye movements, your eyes, your face, your mouth, your, your, your speech. Yeah? We look at the limbs, we look at the tone, the power reflexes, coordination, we make you walk, we make you stand, make you stand on one leg, etc. So that's an, a full neurological examination. So after that's done, then the next step is to get an MRI scan of your brain and or spinal cord. The neurologist believes there's much to be done to assist persons living with MS, especially with the advancement of treatment. Marie Hall, C News.